Well, it's that time of month when we talk real estate and all things happening in the real estate market. And today we're here with Stephen Delisle from Delisle Properties. Stephen, always good to see you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yes, yeah, so we're going to talk about this property in just a little bit. But first of all, we always like to start with the numbers. What are you seeing and how it impacts the market? Yeah, so these numbers are presented to us by the Greater Greenville Association of Realtors. And if you look at the new listing slide, it'll show us that we're up 16.8% in new listings on the market this year as opposed to last year. Now, the average price slide will show us that we're up 4.2% here bringing the average price to just over $382,000. However, DeMarcus, it does break down to month over month information. And September last year to September this year, we're down actually 1.6%. Last year, we were at 385. This year, we were at 379. And then the inventory slide will show us that we're up 43.1% as well. Awesome. And you always like to take those numbers and kind of make it make sense to people at home because the real estate market is a local thing. National numbers can tell us some things, but it's all localized to what's happening here yeah, in the upstate market. Yeah, very important to have those inf that information. Awesome. Let tell us about this house here today. Yeah. So this house is 101 Riverport Drive right here in Simpsonville, and it's a four bedroom, two and a half bath house. What I like is all the bedrooms are upstairs and it allows for the living space and kitchen space to be really open. It's also on an oversized corner lot, fenced in backyard yard that's also flat which is hard to find in new construction <laughs> but what I think about a lot is when my buyers are looking at houses that are only a couple years old and the builder is still building in the neighborhood that you have a big opportunity for your investment to grow quickly because mm -hmm. that builder is also going to increase their prices for the same product almost every single month so what you're doing is you're letting the builder do the heavy lifting and so this is a good opportunity just from an investment standpoint i think that's great too and this is a perfect house for kids to a good area in the backyard to, to play out there which is yeah which is fantastic yeah. the election is coming up and you were talking about how this impacts people's mentality when it comes to you know buying a house what are some of the things we should be concerned about are there things we should be concerned about when, with the election yeah it's a, it's a very common question for my buyers and sellers they're saying it looks like everyone kind of waiting? Should we hesitate like everyone else? What should we do? Mm -hmm. And while it's a valid question, what I like to rely on are facts and also what the history has shown us. And what we can see is that the amount of homes sold really doesn't deviate. It changes very, very little mm -hmm. from the years that we do have elections versus the years we don't. And in fact, nine out of the last 11 elections, the number of homes continue to increase with the caveat being November. November, we do see a decrease in the amount of homes sold. However, December, it kicks right back into where it was before. And also the amount of uh, the, the housing prices are also something to talk about as well, because the amount of uh, what a house is selling for does not deviate from the trends that are already taking place in that election year, just because it's an election. Mm -hmm. And in fact, seven of the last eight elections, the amount of what a house is selling for continues to increase as well. So I get that it's a valid question. <laughs> what I would say, Jamarcus, is now that you have this information, because a lot of people aren't watching this, you want know, a very small uh, mm -hmm. portion of the America, let's say, is capitalize on this because everyone's thinking pause and wait. Mm -hmm. So that means less competition in November. So capitalize on that on the buyer and sell side. So use it to your advantage. Don't wait and see. Just w call Stephen Delisle and make it happen. I think that's the, the best thing to do. Yeah. For somebody watching this, do you have any additional advice you would give to them as they're thinking about buying and selling in this market? Yeah, I was thinking about this before we shot this, that we go over at the, the front of all of these segments about like three or four high level numbers about what the market's doing. Mm -hmm. What I would say is that, and it's helpful to know that as a buyer and a seller, we sit down and go over 19 slides of what the hyper local market's doing mm -hmm. at a macro and micro level to help you, whether you're a numbers person or not, you're gonna need to know this information because this is a big investment you're making. Mm -hmm. So we wanna go over what that uh, market looks like in that current month and, and really compare that to what your goals are to see if now's a good time for you to move or not. And that's great information to have. And so they can always call you and get in touch with your team. The web address is on your screen, DelisleProperties.com. You can have the number there as well. We'll put it at our website, yourcarolina.tv. But some good advice from Stephen Delisle and Delisle Properties. Thank you, Stephen. Thanks, man. Yeah.